This is the Italian Real Estate Podcast, here to help you with the ins and outs and basics of Italian real estate presented by ItalianRealEstateLawyers.com. Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Italian Real Estate Podcast presented by ItalianRealEstateLawyers.com. Of course, we are back at it again with Italian attorney Marco Permunian. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Great, thank you. And in this episode, we wanted to talk a little bit about how far your money can go in Italy, what you might be able to realistically expect from like a real estate perspective at different price points. So Marco, just to jump straight into this episode, let's start out maybe a little bit on the lower end between say 250 euros to 750 euros. What do you think a person could realistically expect within that price range? Of course, it will depend on where the person is looking to relocate, if it's the north, if it's the south, if it's central Italy, if it's one of the two major islands, Sicily or Sardinia. And also it will depend on whether the property is located in a major Italian city or in a small village or mid-sized city. But let's talk about first villages and mid-sized cities Throughout Italy, I don't think there is a huge difference in this peculiar situation between the south and the north. Um, of course, the prices we have said it many times are lower in the south of Italy and in central Italy compared to the north. But you can easily find a bedroom in a shared apartment for 250, maybe even lower if it's the south of Italy, maybe 200 if it's the south of Italy. And in major Italian cities or mid-sized cities, it would probably be on the in the north of Italy, especially um, between maybe three hundred and fifty and four hundred for a bedroom. Of course, it's in the most known cities like Milan or Rome or Florence or Venice. It could be even a little bit higher than than what I just said. Uh, it could even be you know five or six hundred or even seven hundred euros. Uh, especially in the city of Venice, which where the the availability for uh, single uh, for bedrooms is very limited because you know the city is very small and there is a very high demand, especially from students who want to study in Venice. But again, talking about you know mid-sized towns or small villages within that range, you can easily find a studio apartment or even a one-bedroom apartment. In some places in central Italy and southern Italy, you could even find a uh, two-bedroom apartment, uh, un unless it's a major, uh, you know, not known town like um, Naples or maybe uh, Rome, for uh, you know between five and five hundred and seven hundred and fifty euros. For example, the city where my office is located, the average uh, rent for a two-bedroom apartment is right now probably five hundred and fifty. Uh, euros. Yeah, that's one thing in Italy. The, the the rental prices can be much lower than what many people might expect. And of course, in kind of mid-sized cities or cities that are maybe not the the most popular destinations, um, of course, in the high, in the the most popular locations, prices can go absolutely insane. But before moving on to the next tier, the the question that I have for you, because so far you've mostly spoken about apartments or a single room in a shared apartment. What about for a single family home, like a standalone home? Would that potentially fit into this price range or no? Probably not. Uh, first of all, let me say that it would be very unusual for somebody, at least from somebody from Italy or the European Union to want to rent a single family home. Normally the people that are looking for a single family home, they want to purchase it. But of course it's, it's, it's possible. And also it would be, I'd say and more unusual for a landlord to have a single family home and put it for rent. But like I said before, it's absolutely possible. But the answer is that I don't believe that it will fit within that range or probably not easily. Uh, I'd say probably regardless of the location, uh, unless it's a major Italian city like Milan, Florence or Rome or Venice, it would probably be closer to 
a thousand, maybe between you know seven fifty and a thousand, and in a major Italian city, probably even way more than that. And Raphael, before we move to the next tier, I just wanted to briefly touch on mortgages because it's absolutely possible to find a to obtain a mortgage where the monthly installment is within this range in Italy if you're buying a single family home it might be a little bit more difficult maybe but if you're buying an apartment by all means you can expect to be able to have an installment that is between 250 and 750 euros like i said if you're buying an apartment even a two or three bedroom apartments you could expect that an apartment that cost let's say less than 150,000 euros wow that's really interesting to hear. And um, just because you mentioned about the, the for this tier, but what about the next tier up um, between 750 and maybe about, say, 2000? Uh, of course, if somebody can think about a mortgage within that that range, what about renting and mortgage in the next range? What could a person expect to get for their money in that in that tier? First of all, we are probably in a situation where uh, this category is a little bit more unusual for an Italian, not for a foreigner, uh, but for uh, an amount that is between 750 and 2,000 euros, you can expect to be able to rent a very, very nice property. And like I said before, even a single family house, even it's probably gonna be uh, difficult to find, but not impossible. But talking about apartments, you can definitely be able to rent an apartment even in a major city or in a tourist destination so for example in a mid-sized italian town a rent equal to 1500 per month would allow you to get a very very nice property and probably more than a single family home something that is really really nice and uh like i said before that it could be not easy to find but 1500 to even 2000 is a very very good budget if you're renting in a mid-sized um, city things change of course if we're talking about you know big major towns like naples venice and um, milan if you're looking at something above the norm so above average you can easily spend you know 1500 2000 per month for a very very nice apartment so i'd say that while this range is more an unusual range if you're looking at properties for rent in the countryside, villages, or mid-sized towns, it becomes more the norm if we're talking about major Italian uh, cities. And talking about the you know 1,500 to 2,000 range, uh, that probably would allow you to get something in the very center, the historical center of a mid-sized city, or one of the say less popular cities, but still a big one i'm thinking about you know padova or bologna um and if we're talking about a famous city one of the you know five most famous cities in italy venice florence milan rome and naples uh, it would probably will allow you to get something for rent close to the center not in the very center but close to the historical center of the city and finally regarding mortgages so uh, if we're talking about a 25 to 30 years mortgage uh, a monthly installment within this range would allow you to get a costly property. So I'd say for a property that costs 600,000 euros, which in Italy is a very, very high amount, as opposed to the US, where it's probably just above average, 600 to 700,000 euros in Italy right now, especially if it's outside of a major city, it's a very, very high amount and probably you could expect a monthly installment of say 1500 euros something like that of course things change drastically if we're talking about uh, one of the five uh, most famous italian cities where um you know purchasing a property for uh six seven hundred thousand is more the norm uh especially apartments located in the historical center and you could expect a monthly installment if you're getting a mortgage of say between 1500 and 2000 per month very interesting and so marco for this final tier that we'll cover in this episode thinking about monthly costs when we're talking about 2000 and above what exactly are we talking about here so with a monthly budget of over 2000 per month i believe in italy 
uh, it, it's a very, very comfortable amount to live with. In Italy, uh, both they were talking about renting properties or um, mortgage monthly installments. I think it's considered to be a high amount. Now, probably I'd say that the only exceptions are the five uh, most famous Italian cities where you could easily find apartments for rent for over 2000 per month especially if they're located in the center or near the center but outside of those cities uh, if we're talking about villages or mid-sized towns 2000 per month allows you to get a very very nice and probably very large property in italy so that's considered to be uh way above the norm and we're talking about within this budget range already about you know luxury properties very interesting to hear marco and thank you so much for shedding light on to what you could realistically expect when looking at monthly costs of property in italy but of course marco if anybody is needing any help with finding property in italy how can they get in contact with you and your team People can contact us through our website, italianrealestatelawyers.com, or give us a call the numbers on the website. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you're interested in more information like this, be sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel as well as the audio only podcast. But of course, if you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, that means you're also automatically subscribed to the Italian Citizenship Podcast, where we talk a bit about some of the legalities of being able to make Italy your home. And also, if you're interested in more conversations about life abroad, living abroad as a dual citizen expat, be sure to come over to my YouTube channel or audio only podcast. You can look for my name, Rafael Di Furia, or search for Not Your Average Globe Trotter. But again, Mr. Marco Permurian from Italian Real Estate Lawyers.com. Thank you so much for making yourself available for this episode. I'm Rafael Di Furia. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we We'll see you all next time. Later. Thank you.